You've got three minutes and you can do it absolutely wonderfully in three minutes. Yes. Well, now to the most exciting part of this competition is to announce the winner. I must say the judges spent a bit of time and thought and thought and discussed. And it was very hard to do because, as you all know, every single presentation was brilliant, was passionate, was enthusiastic, was very engaging. However, in the end, we chose the one. So the winner got 48.6 out of 56 points and delivered the presentation in extremely engaging, clear and effective manner, though in a very calm manner. It was delivered with enthusiasm and confidence, using very, very effective presentation techniques as eye contact and body language. What was really great to see, each key point of research was conveyed extremely clearly and wanted and made the audience want to learn more and to know more about the research. So the winner of the three minute final 2021 University of Kelania is Mr. Dominda Silva. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Dominda Silva. This glory will definitely shape your academic life. So my congratulations yes. from my end too. Well, uh, we have another uh, winner to announce today, that of the People's Choice Award. The winner is uh, with my hand right now. So let me tell the winner of the People's Choice Award that goes to the contestant number six again, that is Mr. Duminda Silva. Congratulations, my heartfelt congratulations to you. Well, dear contestants, it's my honor to extend the felicitations to all the winners and the contestants. And it's great being engaged in the process, sharing your research to a wider community. Well, with that, I'm about to sign off from my end, handing over the podium to the coordinator of 3MT ICBI 2021, Dr. Rubini Fernando. I must say, that she has been engaging in this process very fruitfully. So thank you so much. Well, we are coming to the last contestant of the day, Mr. K.K. Duminda Silva from University of Calnia. His origin is on who is the best bet, good sportsmanship among employees. His work is being supervised by Professor ULTP Gunasekara as well as Professor M.D. Pushpakumari. Over to you, Duminda. Imagine your company is looking for new employees. Application starts rolling in and qualified candidates are identified. Now, choosing begins. Person A, a perfect resume, good recommendations, all the right stuff, but few extra role activities. Person B, government school, fair amount of job hopping, or jobs like cashier, bartender, etc. involving many extra role activities. Remember, both are qualified. Who are you going to pick? Previous researchers have identified two distinct categories of employees in an organization, silver spoons and underdogs. Have you recently heard a human resource director speaking to employees as underdogs or silver spoons? Let me explain. As a sales leader, I have learned something about people whose education and experience read like patchwork quilt, making me to stop and fully consider silver spoons before promoting them to the next level. 
this category of employees often complain, cheat, skip work, engage in sexual misconduct, which is harmful to the organization as well as individuals. On the other hand, underdogs ask what they can do differently to create better results. They go above and beyond formal duty to help individuals and organizations. When they are at work, they don't complain under difficult circumstances. They help each other. They respect the rules and regulations of the organization. In a normal form, this attitude of non-complaining behavior is referred to as sportsmanship behavior. According to strategic management researchers, sportsmanship behavior has a significant impact on organizational well-being as well as performance. This is where my research aims to investigate why employees need to go above and beyond their assigned responsibilities to display sportsmanship behavior. In order to achieve this objective, I have integrated organizational commitment and emotional intelligence as essential components for explaining sportsmanship behavior and job performance. The implications of my study lead to develop effective selection systems to screen out silver spoons. As such, it will help to select the potential candidates during the hiring process and rethinking performance management to make this behavior a key part of company's culture. So, back to my original question. Who are you going to bet on? Silver spoons or underdogs? Choice is yours. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, uh, Duminda. So the question that I'm tempted to ask you is that, how can companies set a conducive environment for underdogs to perform better? Yeah, uh, there are several ways an organization can create a conducive environment for underdogs. Uh, first one is uh, instill confidence in the underdogs. Uh, it will encourage uh, them to pursue business leads uh, and new ideas, uh, allowing them to reach the full potential. Uh, then utilizing underdogs' uh, rich imagination to achieve uh, team goals, it will lead leads the innovative on the new ideas and instill the confidence in them. Uh, the third one, celebrate the underdog's hunger and the willingness to take the risk. Uh, this is very critical for team success. Then the fourth one, uh, giving uh, underdogs more uh, ownership and accountability, which is currently not there in the organizations uh, for the actions. It will help uh, manage managers to uh, track individuals' progress and their success. Then the fifth one, encourage underdogs uh, to provide feedback uh, on their efforts. Yes. Then finally, uh, celebrating underdogs' achievement uh, in front of the team. Uh, it will encourage underdogs to speak of their actions and claim a job that they have done excellently. Uh, and underdogs uh, isn't a cry for help. Uh, they are capable of overcoming obstacles and achieving success. Uh, when a company creates a conducive environment for underdogs, you win, they win, and finally the organizations also become the winner. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Luminda. It was quite informative. Fair enough. Well, those were the six energetic orations of the 3MT finals today. I really like the punch and the energy. Uh, but before we dive further, up in the line is to display another sponsor, that of the gold sponsor for 3MT, the DFCC Bank. A bank should be for everyone. Children, elders, youngsters, those looking for jobs, those with jobs, those in business. For you, for me, for all of us. From savings to current accounts, fixed deposits, credit cards, leasing, housing loans, DFCC Bank offers you a range of banking products. DFCC Bank, for everyone.
get 1% cash back into your account. Experience double the happiness with DFCC credit cards. DFCC. Happy